today we will discuss uh, the topic multiply analysis with eddy curve and changes in the price level the simple multiply analysis uh, analysis say investment multiplier uh, shows that changes in changes in uh, autonomous investment see changes in autonomous investment leads to changes in income by what multiplier times of change in income that is change in y equal to change in k change in i this k is called multiplier or we call investment multiplier which is written as 1 by 1 minus say mpc that is investment multiplier that means what is the change in or the uh, when there is a uh, um, change in investment by say rupees 100 okay what will be the change in income and change in income will be what uh, k times of change in investment okay if multiplier is 2 and invest change in investment is 100 then change in income will be 200 so this is the investment order in case of expenditure multiplier we, will, uh, we do the same thing that means uh, we see what is the uh, impact of change in aggregate expenditure to the change in income that means income changes uh, mu multiplier times of change in aggregate expenditure that means change in income is equal to say k multiplier times of change in k change in expenditure the income will change by the multiplier times of change in aggregate expenditure that is called uh, expenditure multiplier but in all these cases we assume one thing that is price is constant okay but in case of aggregate demand curve analysis of multiplier we will allow price to vary price is not constant price is what price will be allowed to vary when price may increase or decrease okay so now there are two cases when price varies then um, the multiplier analysis involves two cases first one first one okay before discussing this what is the aggregate components of aggregate demand at constant prices aggregate demand or expenditure is equal to c plus i plus g plus x minus m c consumption expenditure i investment expenditure g government expenditure this is net exports okay now coming to the discussion again now uh, we will see two cases under aggregate demand curve analysis of multiplier we will discuss two cases first when ad shifts when ad shifts and number two when price moves price changes or moves changes along the ad curve okay say how eddy can eddy curve you see there are two cases what are the two cases first suppose this is uh, price this is say uh, income okay and uh, this is our suppose initial eddy curve okay this eddy curve uh, eddy curve explains what we have already discussed in our last video this eddy curve is the different combinations of price and income okay which clears both uh, product market and money market and this curve is downward sloping the source if prices move okay prices move then aggregate output will be less now uh, now you see when this suppose this is the price initial price is suppose initial price is p0 at p0 the aggregate demand of the economy is this okay now if uh, if say autonomous expenditure so, so autonomous say, exports okay expenditure has increased uh, because of suppose this is at the initial initial export x stands for export okay at this level of aggregate demand suppose export is this much x naught now suddenly suppose export demand has increased okay uh, maybe because of the exchange rate uh, exchange rate of the economy uh, has uh, exchange rate has fallen okay which has raised the demand for exports okay this will reduce this will cause what a shift in aggregate demand curve new ad curve suppose ad prime is a function of 
increase in exports when export has increased when export is increased what will happen when net export has increased then this c plus i plus g plus x minus m values will increase and this will cause price is assumed constant at price is, is assumed constant when export increases this will cause a shift in aggregate demand curve that means at this price aggregate demand will increase okay this is one situation and another situation is what if price if price falls say from suppose this is the price p p1 or p0 okay this is suppose p1 if price falls from p1 to say p0 then what will be the change in income so these two situations we will discuss now we will use keynesian cross to analyze the expenditure multiplier this is aggregate demand will measure in along this axis and along this axis income or output we are also already familiar with this diagram that is 45 degree line this is 45 degree line and y equal to say c plus s okay this is suppose our initial net expenditure at price uh, at price p1 this is price this is price p1 okay and uh, export is say uh, x not now as we have done here suppose uh, autonomous expenditures has increased autonomous expenditure has increased that that is causing what shift in aggregate demand curve so in autonomous expenditures x not has in, uh, has increased from x not to x1 this will cause shift in shift in what aggregate expenditure curve from e not to say e1 price is assumed fixed price is not changing okay price is fixed the change is taking place in only export so export has increased when export is increased the aggregate demand curve has shifted up so initially equilibrium was what where aggregate expenditure is equal to aggregate demand is equal to aggregate supply initial equilibrium income was this much okay now because of this shift income has increased from y not to y1 that is one point of multiplier second thing suppose now price has price has fallen like here when price falls from p1 to p0 that means the we are moving along a, an aggregate demand curves there is no shiftment okay so when price falls that will cause what fall in prices to three impacts fall in price has three impacts has three effects one is called wealth effect wealth effect wealth effect means when price falls the demand will be more uh, the real income of people increases and the demand the demand uh, demand will increase that is wealth effect aggregate demand will increase because of this wealth effect when price falls number 2 is uh, interest rate effect see when price falls when say price falls that means if price falls then overall what will happen to the multi real real balance real money balance m by p will rise when p falls then m by p will rise isn't it okay given the money supply money supply is not changing change change is taking place in the price when price falls then real money supply will increase okay when real money supply increases that will cause given uh, the demand for money is constant if supply of money increases then it, that will cause a fall in rate of interest when rate of interest falls then investment demand will increase so when investment demand investment is demand is also one of the see one of the component of one of the component of aggregate demand so investment demand increases that means aggregate demand will increase so this will cause an increase in aggregate demand third one is uh, what uh, international trade effect international trade effect means when price falls 
everything remaining constant if price falls then then what will happen the demand for uh, demand for our commodities in inter in the international market will increase that will that means there will be a rise in export okay these are the three factors that uh, that are associated with fall in price okay when price falls because of wealth effect interest rate effect and international trade effect what aggregate demand will rise so when price falls from p1 to p0 then again aggregate demand curves will shift above shift up say from e1 to e2 and price is now p0 now export is say x1 export is changes we are we are taking x1 x1 is the change in export so again there will be an increase in income because at this point expenditures new expenditure curve is intersects aggregate supply curves ad equal to s equilibrium will take place here that means this will be the this will be the change in income from y1 to y2 because of fall in price and this y0 to y1 increase in income due to what shift in aggregate demand curve said because of change in say any of the components of aggregate demand uh, where price is not changing okay so this is uh, this is now expenditure multiplier in case of uh, aggregate demand curve with flexible prices means when uh, what will be the change in income or income changes income changes uh, multiplier times of change in aggregate expenditure 